What is up everyone? My name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. And in this video, I wanna show you guys the Elytra Torch and why you need to bring with you on your next shoot or throw it into your gear bag. Let's get right into it. So first things first, let's talk about the light output that this little guy is capable of. To power it on, all you have to do is hit this single button right here. It's really simple and it has three different light settings. Right now it's on 100 lumens. It can get up to 450 lumens on the second setting and then up to 800 lumens on the last third setting. As you can tell, this little guy can get pretty bright. This light also has a 90 plus CRI or color rendering index. Now what does that mean? That just means that this light is very color accurate, which is especially important when filming things like skin tones because you won't get any kind of weird color shifts when you have a color accurate LED light. Now speaking of color, the Elytra Torch is set to a 5700 Kelvin or daylight color temperature. Now you can also alter the color of this light by adding some filtered gels, which we'll get into a little bit later. Another great feature about the Elytra Torch when it comes to light output is that it's flicker free when on camera. So as you guys can tell, the light is obviously being recorded right now, but it's not flickering like you can see sometimes when you're filming, when you're pointing it at certain LED lights. Because the frequencies aren't matching up, you can see that flicker in post-production, but you don't have to worry about that with this light, especially when you're filming in slow motion or full HD. Now, when it comes to battery life, the Elytra Torch can be used for up to four hours on continuous use and up to seven hours on strobe mode, which is the fourth setting on this light. And you don't have to worry about packing a bunch of AA or AAA batteries with you because this light is fully rechargeable using a micro USB cable. And last but not least, this has a smooth or blended lux beam, which means that you don't have to worry about any kind of center hotspot when using this light. But what does that actually mean? Let me show you. I have a backdrop behind me. I'm gonna put on the brightest setting, but as you can tell on this light, it's not just hot in the center. It falls off really nicely and it rolls off the paper really smooth. And that's what it means when it has a smooth or a blended lux beam. Next, let's talk about the build quality and the hardware of the Elytra Torch. Honestly, just holding in my hand, this light feels very high quality. The way it's built, it's very rugged and it's super portable. As you guys can tell, it's literally fitting in the palm of my hand. For how powerful it is, it's pretty amazing. It's waterproof up to 60 feet or 20 meters. The Elytra Torch also has a magnet on the back of the light which is pretty cool because if you ever have to put it onto any kind of metal surface, it'll just stick right on. Then you have a light source without needing any kind of other accessory. As far as mounts go, it has two quarter 20 mounts, which allows you to mount it on things like light stands, tripods, ball heads, you name it. Just having the two quarter 20 mounts makes it a super versatile light. And speaking of versatility, let's start talking about the accessories that this guy has, which is kind of where the Lytra Torch shines. There are a plethora of accessories that you can mount and put on this light, starting with the ones that come right in the box. These include a DSLR camera mount, diffuser, belt clip, GoPro camera mount, smartphone magnet mount, and a USB charging cable. These add a lot of extra versatility and value right out of the box with the light. Now outside of the accessories that come right in the box, Lytra also makes a bunch of accessories that are compatible with the Lytra Torch. You can add colored gels and you can even add some light diffusion. It's pretty awesome to have the colored gels with you in your bag because as you know, it's a fixed 5700K or daylight temperature. So with the colored gels, you can make it tungsten or any other color you need it to be. And it makes, it makes it a really powerful tool when on set or when trying to get your videos. Fun fact, when it comes to mounting this light on a drone, Lytra actually creates a drone version of the Lytra Torch. The drone version doesn't have the magnet so that it doesn't interfere with the GPS when flying the drone. They also recently just came out with different mounting options, so you can mount it even on the new Mavic Pro now with the body mount, or you can still mount it on, let's say, like a Phantom 4 or any of the drone you have with their generic mount that they have that's made to fit most drones on the market. We've seen a lot of users use the Lytra Torch as an action light, as a filmmaking tool, as a vlogging light, 
And most of these mounting accessories are created by Lytra as well, which means you don't have to shop around a ton to see what kind of accessories this light will go well with because Lytra has already made all the products available to go with the Lytra torch. So be sure to check out Lytra.com to learn more about the Lytra torch and also all their new accessories because they're always coming out with new ones.